Hi everyone, welcome to I'm Molina. It's your girl Mimi. It's that time for February favorites. I'm not sure what's gonna make it, but you gotta wait and see, and then you'll know for shizzle after this video. <laughs> it is February. It's over. I don't even know what I'm doing. I just filmed my glam bag and I'm sure it's posted already and I'll link it around here somewhere. Even though February was such a short month, I used so many different products or just products that I was loving and I just was like, I need to just include it. I mean, I know there's a lot of products and I'm so sorry. And I just have to go right through it. <coughs> First of all, this is a favorite because my brother wrote his first novel and just got it published and I'm banging on it right now. Um, and it's just like such an exciting time in our family to have a published novelist, if you want to call him that, because I think this he deserves to be called a novelist now, an, a real true author. Um, and yeah. It's this! Yay! Um, we are Greek, as if you guys didn't know that already, because I'm very Greek looking. Yeah, basically the book is a, you know, a male's perspective on relationships, and it just goes through his years 1 through 30. Um, and it's really cool. I mean, you kind of, you kind of get a glimpse into my childhood through his childhood, because we kind of, you know, we grew up in the same childhood. It's a really great read, um, and it's really entertaining. Like, I just couldn't, I just couldn't put it down um, and I'm just so proud of him and there's things in this book that I didn't even know happened and it's just really exciting to I don't know just to see my brother's dream come true the writing is brilliant he's just brilliant at telling stories and I just wanted to I guess just give him a shout out because I'm just so proud such a proud sister um, anyways the title is called a Greek American tale um, Paul and the cursed relationships years 1 through 30 and it, um, the artwork was done by his his best friend Eric, or one of his best friends Eric, and um, it did such an amazing job. And it's a true book. I mean, it's freaking awesome, um, you know. And uh, I'll put the link below. You can find it on Amazon, and I think Barnes and Noble is carrying it. I have been having such a hard time finding a true deodorant that will just I just stop my sweat like make me smell good so um that's all I ask for in a deodorant which I thought everyone does I'm using degree now um and this is the expert protection 24-hour motion sense um it's fresh energy invisible solid anti-perspirant deodorant or and deodorant um and anyways it looks like this this was probably about like three bucks at Walmart I've been using my Urban Decay uh 15th anniversary palette um has the one with the little mirror on the front i bring this up because i've been using mia which is like this dark brown ah uh, can you guys see my camera it's there yay um but anyways this one is freaking awesome i love this for my eyebrows no lie i don't think it's matte no there is a little bit of shimmer um but you know what it really it really works with my eyebrows so i tweeted about this product um recently um the when conditioner the sweet almond mint which I got from my glam bag I'm not sure which month it was I think it was January um, but it looks like this this is I love this stuff when I get out of the shower my problem always has been tangles and I feel like when I get out of the shower I really have a tangle I've been using the mineralized skin finish from Mac and I use the medium plus and it's my first time ever using really like a, a uh, skin finish and I really do like this product a lot it looks like this I really like this um, I don't really take it anywhere like I don't take it with me I just do it in the morning I just never got into the habit of taking like um you know blotting with me I know with my studio fix foundation um, powder you can open the bottom and they have like the blotting thing this doesn't have the blotting thing or at least if it does I can't open it what are those things called sponges to put this on so you do have to use a brush or bring a brush with you if you're going to take it out with mac it's really cool because you can use the product and as long as i think as long as you return it within 30 days um with the receipt and the packaging i believe um you get your money back or store credit or whatever um just i guess depending on your mac store um but so i think it's really cool so if you want to give this a try and maybe after a few days you're like it's not really worth the money 
they return it. I mean, there's really no loss. So that's just my, my say on this. To go along with that, I've been using this crown brush. It doesn't have a number on it. I remember I got these at iMats. It was like the big set of 12 for like, it's like 15 bucks. Um, and I always wanted to try crown. I'm not really impressed with a lot of their other brushes, but this one's really nice. It's a big powder brush. Um, and I use that for the skin finish. This one is from Laura Geller. I've mentioned this before in like a, a previous favorites which was probably really like a long time ago um but this is uh the blush and brighten and honey dipped and i got this once a long time ago in my birch box it was a it's a full full size product this is what it looks like it is so gorgeous i use it on you know my cheeks or contouring um it does have shimmer it's just really pretty it's just really gorgeous i love it so much it's a great color um and you know i have olive skin but i am white really white so um it really works well for me and i really enjoy it and I, it's actually flat now because before it, there used to be a hump there's no hump anymore and to put that on um once again another crown brush that i it it works you know it's not like the powder brush um but it's small version of it and it's okay i use that with the with the honey dipped this is the waterproof eyeliner pen from elf and i tweeted about this i was raving about it i was you know i was raving about it on twitter i'm so excited um a lot of people i know were commenting and saying that the, when they got this in the mail or when they picked it up at the store it was dry it was already dried out um and you know what they're a buck and it sucks when you get a product because you're expecting something from it um but uh, i don't know i mean if they were dry i guess i'd be pissed i mean i've gotten a lot of things from elf which i was just not impressed with and thank god that they're inexpensive these are the 24 hour color tattoos um by maybelline and these are really cool like i i will say after i watched amarique's video on these because she was like one of the first ones i watched that introduced these and i was like oh that's pretty cool they're like um being very compa comparable to max paint pots um they're just you know a base um and they're supposed to like allow your eyeshadows not to crease and things like that um i have three different colors that i picked up and i think i'm just gonna end it there i'm not gonna pick up any more too too cool this is like a white it kind of reminds me of um nick's uh you know milk jumbo eye pencil milk asphalt this one's really dark it is like a gun metal it's really dark but i love it tough as taupe and i'm really really excited it's a really just beautiful taupe color um and i use it a lot I've been wearing Naked a lot. This comes with the Naked palette too. Um, love this color, like really do love it. Um, and I mean, it's what's on my lips. And it's just, it's a great shine. Um, it's just a really good color. Um, and I just can't complain. So that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's that. And if you guys have, if you guys, um, have already recorded or will record your february favorites <laughs> Woo! i would love for you to you know leave it as a video response because i would love to check it out and also uh twitter at i am elaine um if you haven't already heard it throughout the whole video i i do tweet out things that i like um i answer questions i talk to you back i don't ignore you i promise i won't if i do i'm so sorry also i wanted to mention on my twitter if you're into celebrity news or the latest in entertainment i do tweet out a bunch of links to stories um you know so if you didn't hear about chris brown and rihanna and their new remix then you would have heard it from me we do um honor a lot of youtube singers um which is really great so if you guys know of any youtube singers that you would like me to check out please let me know you know tweet it to me love you guys thank you so much for watching um i don't know if i thank you guys enough it really through all the hecticness in my life and you know all the downs and the ups and the downs um i love coming to youtube and watching youtube and reading your comments and like talking to you guys and making videos i'll never stop loving that so um thank you guys so much for just being my audience and giving me an audience it's it's great it's a really great feeling i'm done i'm done rambling